Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Grace again. Guess where I am standing right now? I am here in the campus of Brigham Young University. So, now let me tell you honestly, it's like uh, my feeling is an outsider and that is for real because this is like my second time to be here. The last time I was here was probably 15 years ago when I came here for an art exhibit. So yeah, I am excited to just walk around the campus. So let's go. Okay, Brigham Young University was obviously named after Brigham Young, the first um, Utah territorial governor. And this was founded in October of 1875. So that was like a long, long time ago, Hun more than a hundred years ago. Okay, 99% of the Students who attend here are all members of the LDS Church and there is an um, honor code here that mandates uh, behavior that in lines with the teachings of the LDS Church like dress and grooming appropriately, you know, to the uh, church standards. Well, the rules here are in line with the teachings of the LDS Church, obviously because this one is owned and operated by the LDS Church. Okay, so let's keep walking around. I said art, where's the entrance? Right here. Look at that, the bell. Will you pause it? What is that bell? Mark. Okay, you can see there the mountains. There's the Y that stands for Young, Brigham Young. Students who attend BYU um, follow an honor code that mandates uh, the behavior that is in line with the teachings of the church, including academic um, honesty, um, adherence to dress and grooming, using tobacco or coffee or tea or illegal drugs. So, yes. Yes, I remember this building. Oh, wow. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hi. Hey guys, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, did you guys have any questions about anything before you adventure uh, into galleries or you good to go? I think we're good to go. I've been here before. Oh, okay. Just well, welcome. Yeah, welcome. thank you. Enjoy. Just like a long time ago. Beehive. 
I know. What is that P? This is the Utah symbol, guys. Beehive. Is this like a jewelry? Hey, I want to get one for Dio. <laughs> Dio will like it. He will love it, actually. That's, they have good stuff here. George <laughs> Some glasses. Okay, guys. So it's like the souvenir shop. Thank you. I forgot my purse. Okay, wait. Is this. Do you guys recognize her? Frida Kahlo. You need to watch her movie, it's really good. Vincent Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. This is cool. I thought this was Bernie Sanders. I got excited there for a second because I have everything Bernie at my house. Okay, what are these? There must, they must have had an exhibit here. See how it's rainbow. This is LGBTQ in honor of. Is that why? Here's one. One um, thing I want to tell you. When I was on my way to Utah, guys, a long, long time ago, in 2000 of June, I was on a plane with a, a guy, a middle-aged guy, and he said that he was an engineer, and he thought that I was here. Uh, I was coming to Utah to attend school at BYU not to get married <laughs> and when I told him that I was going I'm here to get married he was really surprised because he said that I was still a kid <laughs> and then he ended up buying me some lunch <laughs> he got me lunch at the airport okay so oh my goodness let's look at this so this painting is called the uh, nativity and the artist Brian Kershishnik, um so here you are going to see uh, the, the artist wanted to probe the emotion of the event rather than a historical reality, um, depicting the momentous birth with the poignancy of lived experience. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys. This one is a painting of um, Christ healing the sick at Bethesda oil on canvas if you go um, downtown in uh, at the temple square no temple square right you will also find this um, painting this is the original Christ healing the sick at Bethesda this oil on canvas was painted in 1883 okay if you remember, the Gospel of John tells of a man who had suffered a malady for 38 years. Lying in wait by the pool of Bethesda, he longed to benefit from its legendary healing powers. So if you look at that, Jesus was healing him. Okay, now we have this. So you see a timeline here. At Bethesda's waters. Okay, you see a timeline here, and then let's go here first, then we'll go there. Wow! So let's look at this one. This one is the miracle of the goals. Remember when I took you guys to the? This is the place uh, monument. This is the place uh, park. You saw a statue of two people praying for miracles because their crops were being eaten by the crickets since there was a plague. And then they prayed and God sent them seagulls. So this is another painting. It's called Miracle of the Gulls. Okay, so this one is a very familiar story. 
It's an example of divine providence or miracle. Okay. I'm gonna take this. Okay, we have America's land. America's dramatic and majestic landscape. Majestic. It's showing here. El Capitan, Agatha's Middle, showing me there. And then here you have view of Monterey Bay. And then here you have Purple Mountain. And here you have Arizona. Okay guys, I want to tell you about this painting. I actually cross-stitched this at home. It's actually hung, hanging on my um, wall. I hang it up or I hung it up there so that it would remind me of the six months that I put my hard work into without sleep so I could cross-stitch Mona Lisa. I would start from 8 a.m. until um, 2 a.m. in the morning. The sugar all. Sugar. So the artist used playful materials and methods such as painting the Mona Lisa <laughs> with peanut butter or sculpting. Here he used sugar. That's awesome. Okay, let's show them close up. This is neat. So here guys, he used grains of sugar to create portraits of children on the Caribbean island of St. Kitts. To some may seem like a familiar idea as many people return from vacation having taken pictures of the locals they encounter. These children, however, come from families who labor arduously for meager pay on sugar and cane plantations. So that's what he decided to do. So he depicted their personalities, their charm and humanity. Okay, each one, each portrait serves as a reminder that the sweetest things in life can have bitter origins. Sometimes not to their choice. It's sometimes the circumstance. Some are inflicted by others, you know. Okay. This one is pictures of color series, chromogenic print. These are just squares, right? And this one is colors, exact hues. So it's just showing you different hues or color. Reminds me of Beethoven, you know, this painting. Now this one is 256 colors. Wow. Same artist as that one. Oh. Frankenstein or Frankenstein how do you say that Frankenstein Frankenstein's monster mm -hmm. okay this one is Frankenstein Here you have pictures of clouds. Wow, this is huge, guys. This building is huge. Best of Life series. Okay, so do you see this, guys? Okay, it shows, it shows memory rendering of flag, 
raising up Mount Suribachi Iwo Jima right there. Memory of rendering of kiss at Times Square. Memory um, rendering of train bang. And then rendering John Lennon in Manhattan. And then memory rendering of Kent State shooting. Memory rendering of Saigon execution. Okay, if you guys have seen The Killing Fields, it's an old, old movie. Um, it's one of my favorite movies. Um, you just have to sit there and have your tissues ready because that is that shows you the grueling um, effects of war in people. So you have to see the killing fields. And this one, this famous girl, uh, picture of a famous girl, she is now a doctor. I just read an article about her. She's married, have kids, and she's a doctor now. Did you know that? She lives here. Okay, woman and bicycle. It's an abstract. Wow. Woman and bicycle. And that one is earthworks. Okay. So when I get home, guys, I am going to show you um, pictures of my um, own artwork. Actually, it's uh, Mona Lisa that I cross-stitched. And then I'm still working on my Last Supper, and I've cross-stitched a bunch of other things. Because I love art. I'll show it to you guys when I get home. Jerusalem okay let's show them this so visiting Jerusalem is in my uh, what's that bucket list I want to see this place one of these days I don't know when but I want to go there okay this one is zebra And then we have picking flowers in a field. There you go. Okay guys, I forgot to tell you that the color of the school is blue. That's why I'm wearing blue. And you could see the reflections there on the glass um, walls reflections of the mountains and this one is really nice see how hot it is so this is the museum of art hi guys BYU BYU
Okay, so we're now going to find BYU Creamery and get some ice cream there. We're gonna get something, get some ice cream here. The original plan was to go to Rowley's Red Barn because they have the best ice cream too, but I'll take you guys there next time in another vlog. I've heard about BYU Creamery from my friends and they keep telling me to come here. So finally, I'm here. I'm excited to try their ice cream. Strawberry ice cream. I don't think I could eat this. This is big. So I got this and this one. Let's get the white donut shaped. Okay, we ended up getting strawberry and lemon sherbet. Lemon sherbet. Yes, they're really good. This is huge though. I should have said one scoop instead of two scoops. <laughs> I underestimated one scoop, I guess. Okay guys, um, wherever I go, I always get strawberry, either for drinks or for ice cream. It's always my favorite. It just gives me this refreshing um, feeling when I eat strawberry. It seems like it's healthier than any other flavors. It's just me. Okay, thank you for watching my vlog today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the link below and click like and also click the notification bell for video updates. And remember, bawal ang malasado. Bye for now. Please be safe out there.